For a long time, astronomers assumed that small rocky planets orbiting very close to their stars couldn't hold on to atmospheres. The intense heat and radiation should strip them down to bare rock. But new observations from the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging that assumption. Data from the ultra-hot super-Earth TOI-561b suggests it may be surrounded by a thick atmosphere, even while its surface is likely molten. This finding raises important questions about how rocky planets evolve under extreme conditions. In this video, we will explain what was discovered, why it matters, and what scientists are looking for next. Let's get started. The planet at the center of this discovery, TOI-561b, is a rocky super-Earth located about 100 light-years away. With a radius roughly 1.4 times that of Earth, it belongs to a rare category known as ultra-short-period exoplanets, worlds that orbit extremely close to their host stars and complete a full orbit in less than a single day. TOI-561b circles its star in under 11 hours, placing it at an exceptionally small orbital distance. At this proximity, the planet is almost certainly tidally locked, meaning one hemisphere permanently faces the star while the other remains in darkness. The day side experiences constant stellar radiation, driving surface temperatures high enough to melt rock and create what scientists describe as a global magma ocean. For years, planets in this category were assumed to be airless. Intense stellar radiation and particle winds were expected to strip away any gases early in the planet's history, leaving behind a bare, molten surface. That assumption has shaped how astronomers interpret short-period rocky exoplanets. New observations from the James Webb Space Telescope suggest that TOI-561b does not follow that pattern. Using Webb's Near Infrared Spectrograph, or NIRSPEC, researchers measured the thermal emission coming from the planet's day side. This was done through secondary eclipse observations, where astronomers monitor the total light from the star planet system and then track how that light changes when the planet passes behind the star. The brief drop in infrared emission isolates the planet's contribution, allowing scientists to estimate its surface temperature. For a rocky planet with no atmosphere, models predict that the day side of TOI 561 b should reach temperatures approaching those of exposed molten rock under direct stellar heating. Instead, Webb measured a significantly cooler value. While the planet remains extremely hot, the observed temperature is lower than expected for an airless world. This discrepancy is difficult to explain without invoking an atmosphere. A substantial layer of gas above the molten surface could absorb and re-emit infrared radiation, preventing some heat from escaping directly into space. In addition, atmospheric circulation could transport energy away from the day side, reducing the temperature Webb detects. The atmospheric interpretation also aligns with another unusual property of the planet. TAY 561b has a lower bulk density than expected for a purely rocky body with Earth-like composition. A thick atmosphere would make the planet appear larger relative to its mass, lowering its apparent density. Together, the temperature measurements and density data provide the strongest evidence so far that a rocky exoplanet can retain a substantial atmosphere, even under extreme irradiation. The importance of this discovery lies in how directly it challenges long-standing assumptions about rocky planets. Planetary evolution models have long suggested that small rocky worlds orbiting close to their stars should lose their atmospheres early in their lifetimes. These models explain many known cases successfully, including Mercury and several short-period exoplanets previously observed to be consistent with bare rock. TOI 561b stands out because it does not conform to those expectations. One factor that may be key is its formation environment. The planet orbits a very old star, roughly twice the age of the Sun, located in the Milky Way's thick disk. Stars in this region tend to be poor in heavy elements such as iron, 
indicating that the planet formed under chemical conditions unlike those of the solar system. This environment may have influenced both the planet's internal structure and its volatile inventory. While initial hypotheses considered whether TOI 561b might have an unusually small iron core or a less dense mantle, Webb's observations indicate that composition alone cannot account for the measured thermal behavior. Researchers are now exploring models in which the planet's atmosphere and molten surface are tightly coupled. In this framework, volatile gases continuously escape from the magma ocean into the atmosphere, while some of those gases are absorbed back into the planet's interior. This exchange could maintain an atmosphere even as material is gradually lost to space. Such a system would require the planet to be significantly richer in volatiles than Earth. Rather than resembling a dry terrestrial world, TOI 561b may contain large quantities of gases such as water vapor dissolved within its molten interior. This concept has led researchers to describe the planet as behaving more like a volatile rich lava world than a conventional rocky planet. Another possibility under investigation involves clouds composed of vaporized rock or silicates forming high in the atmosphere. These clouds could reflect a portion of incoming starlight, further moderating the planet's temperature. If present, they would add another layer of complexity to how energy moves through the atmosphere. Beyond the specifics of TOI 561b, this discovery demonstrates something broader. It shows that the James Webb Space Telescope is capable of probing atmospheric properties on rocky planets, not just large gas giants or sub-Neptune worlds. This capability was largely theoretical before Webb became operational. As a result, the line between airless lava planets and atmospherically complex rocky planets may be far less clear than previously assumed. If TOI 561b can retain an atmosphere, it suggests that other rocky planets previously assumed to be airless may also deserve closer scrutiny. This finding expands the range of conditions under which atmospheres can exist. It implies that atmospheric survival depends on more than orbital distance alone. Interior composition, volatile abundance, geological activity, and long-term planet atmosphere interactions may all play critical roles. For exoplanet research, this has immediate consequences. Bulk density measurements are often used to infer whether a planet is rocky or gaseous. The case of TOI 561b shows that density alone may not be sufficient to determine whether a rocky planet has an atmosphere, particularly for worlds in extreme environments. The discovery also reshapes how scientists think about planetary evolution. Instead of viewing atmospheres as features that are either retained or lost early, researchers are increasingly considering planets as dynamic systems. In these systems, interiors, surfaces, and atmospheres exchange material and energy over billions of years. Follow-up observations are already underway. Webb will continue monitoring TOI 561b to map temperature variations around its entire orbit. These measurements will help determine how efficiently heat is transported and may provide constraints on the atmosphere's composition. Future missions, including the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and next-generation ground-based observatories, will apply similar techniques to other rocky exoplanets. By studying a broader sample, scientists hope to learn how common volatile-rich rocky worlds are, especially around older stars formed early in the galaxy's history. Although TOI 561b itself is far too hot to be habitable, understanding how it maintains an atmosphere informs models used to study more temperate planets. The same physical processes that allow gases to persist on an ultra-hot world could influence atmospheric evolution closer to the habitable zone. More broadly, this discovery highlights the growing diversity of rocky planets. Rather than falling into simple categories, rocky worlds appear to occupy a wide spectrum shaped by chemistry, heat, and time.
James Webb's observations of TOI 561b show that even extremely hot rocky planets can retain atmospheres. This challenges long-standing models of how rocky worlds evolve under intense stellar radiation. As observations continue, planets once thought to be bare rock may turn out to be far more complex.